with your daily CARS Essentials warm up. All right, now our Essentials are basically a full body routine to help our body to get as supple as possible in the morning. All right, this consists of five exercises, should take you about seven to 10 minutes, really focus on proper form and follow me through this. For, so for our first exercise, we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna tense our body, okay? I want you to think about squeezing at about 50%, meaning my abs are tight, my butt is tight, my legs are tight, the only thing that is not tight is the joint that's moving, which we start is going to be the head. So what I'm going to do is to begin with, I'm just going to make a big, I'm going to start to make big circles with my head. So I'm going to tense my body about 50%. I'm going to bring my chin to my chest. I'm just going to make five big circles. And again, I'm moving slowly. I'm pretending as if mud is in the air. It's slowing me down. And what I'm watching out for here are pinch points. I do feel a pinch anywhere in my neck, and a pinch would be just a painful spot. It's like one spot that kind of catches. You'll feel clicking and popping. That's okay. You'll feel you know tightness in your muscles, but a pinch is pain. All right, if you start to feel pain, let's go back the other way. So we're gonna do five clockwise, five counterclockwise. If you start to feel pain, that's a situation where you need to go see your chiropractor, your physical therapist. They can help you to work out of that. That's a joint impingement. Okay, and when you do feel something like that, I want you to tell me, and you know I can refer you out to the appropriate person, or again, go to your chiropractor or your physical therapist. All right, so now our next one is gonna be a shoulder car. So for shoulder car, I'm gonna tense my body. I'm gonna bring my thumb up, okay, like I'm hitchhiking and moving slowly. Again, I'm just going to move my arm up to the point to where I can't reach overhead anymore. Notice, if I, if I lean my body forward, I can reach farther. I'm trying not to do that, so I'm keeping my butt, abs, and everything else tight. Okay, now with my hands, when I get up to this point, my palm is going to face the other, the way, other way. I'm going to start to come back behind my body. The goal with this one is to keep my hand as close to my body as possible. Okay, when I... What you'll find is when you don't have that range of motion, your arm is going to start to kind of like deviate out to the side. But try to force your way in, push your way in. And again, if you feel a pinch, stop because that's a joint impingement. Just kind of work around that area um, versus just, you know, continuing. So with this one, I'm going to just push the other direction. My palm is facing backwards. I'm going to start to push up to the point where I can't move anymore. I'm going to start to turn my palm in and I just come around slowly. One more time, I'm gonna tense my body, moving very slowly like I have. My arm is moving through mud. I come up to the point where I can't move anymore, turn my palm to face the other direction, and come around, keeping my arm as close to my body as possible. Now we're gonna push in the other direction. And with each of these, I'm looking for about five reps in each position, okay? We're gonna do both shoulders, all right? Our next, um, our next car that we're gonna work on is the upper back okay so with the upper back if you've ever seen the matrix that's kind of this is kind of the scene where he's like you know moving to each side dodging bullets but with this one what i want to do is i want to i want to start first by just dropping my upper back okay lower back stays tight i'm just moving from this part then i'm going to rotate my upper back i'm going to arch my back and just do a rotation through notice that when i do it so I rotate. I'm arching from my upper back while my lower back stays essentially solid. Okay, that's why feet and knees are together. We got to keep our abs on. Now, it, it, so it, let me show you one rep in there, its entirety. And what I want you to do, we're going to go five circles clockwise, five circles counterclockwise. In a way that I know that I feel it in the right place is I'm getting it from my upper back versus feeling a hinge in my lower back. Now, if you can't do that, a way that we can start to kind of work on that, something that you can just do at home, it's, uh, instead of trying to move from my um, instead of trying to move from my uh, lower back, what I can do is just start up against the wall and just practice. Peeling off the wall, and notice that my midsection is pressed into the wall, so my upper body is just peeling off the wall. Again, I'm looking up, 
rotating to one side and coming back. Peeling off the wall again. Rotating to the other side and coming back. All right. You can also do the same thing with flexion. Back is in the, in the wall. Just let my upper back drop off, off the wall. Rotate. Come back. Drop. Rotate. Come back. So feel free to break this down and work on it until you can feel it in the right place as you're going through this drill. Now, our next drill, okay, is going to be a hip. Okay, with the hip, what I want to do, just inside here a little bit, is we're going to pretend you're the karate kid. Okay, I'm pressing into the wall to help to create some tension in my body, I'm tensing my arm, I'm tensing my abs, the, the leg that's down. I'm going to bring my knee up as high as I can. I'm gonna bring my leg out to the side, making sure that my body stays straight, turn my foot in, kind of turning my foot to face the ground, and pulling through, okay? Then I'm just gonna draw an opposite, I'm just gonna draw a circle in the opposite direction. So I push back, I come around, and I come back, all right? And one more time, you just wanna get your knee as high as you can. Make sure you don't feel any pinching. Okay, if you do, either lower your knee or make note of that. Okay, turn out, turn my leg in, come through, come back down, come back, and come through. And again, the key with this is make sure that you make note of pinching. Report that to your chiropractor, you know, your massage therapist, or me, you know, and we'll refer you out. Um, and again, don't work through it in that you're just going to go through it. And lower your leg. Um, so you don't have that problem anymore, okay? When, you, when it's lower, you're not going to access as much range of motion. That's something you can do. Now, if you continue to feel pinching, what you can also do is do this exercise on all fours, right? So if I, if I start in what is called quadruped, where I'm on my knees like this, what I can do is just bring one knee to my chest, move my leg out, make a big circle with my leg and come through, and then reverse that circle. So one more time, I'm pressing into the ground, trying to keep my back flat as much as I can, pulling my knee to my chest, bringing my leg out, pulling my leg through, coming back down, and then I'm just gonna reverse the circle. Now for our last one, we, this is what is called a cat camel. Cat camel is basically um, a wave that starts at my lower back and goes up my upper back. And so what that looks like, my back is rounded here, and I'm, I'm just going to start to drop down from my lower back first. And you can kind of see what I'm doing is I'm just trying to arch each segment individually as a kind of this, just this cascade that's going up my back. And then I reverse it. So it's like hump progressively going up my back. For a lot of people, you'll just drop everything together at once. Whereas, you know, when you have good control, you're just going to kind of move from one area at a time, which is what we want to do. So now, in summary, if you find that you have kind of like one segment that doesn't move or you can't feel, what you can also do is come onto your back. Okay, I'm gonna put my fingers in that segment and then press into that spot and flex off of that spot. I'm just kind of working that particular spot, feeling that area kind of press into my fingers and come off of my fingers, just to give me a little awareness. And what I do is I just move my fingers up my back, you know, kind of working that particular segment. All right, if that's your issue, you know, this would be a good drill to teach yourself to do this. And again, this is something that you can practice until you can feel those segments in quadruped. Okay, so just as a brief summary, uh, we're going to perform five reps of each exercise of these drills as a morning warm-up. And that's your car routine.